Hello. Good evening, everybody. Happy Monday. Oof. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we are here with Monday Night Mash Fest number 45. My name is Ryer. I will be your host and commentator for the evening. Uh, Imperius Club asked me to sub in, and I will be doing just that. Tonight we are playing Melty Blood Type Lumina. It is Lumina's turn this week. We have a stacked bracket, 17 players. Um, uh, yeah, that I, I, I only use this on Valentine's Day. I, I had some Valentine-themed music leading into. I thought that would be appropriate. So, um, before we get started, as always, I got to plug the Macherino. Exclamation point Macherino in the chat. Click claim code. You can donate 25 free cents to the pot. Uh, be sure to do that before you do anything else. Uh, exclamation point bracket will lead you to who's going to be playing today. I see some real stacked gamers uh, in the chat, so be sure to look out for those. Uh, first one we're going to have coming up, if I remember how to create a room in this game. Uh, we're going to do this. And let's see. It's been so long since I've made a room in Type Lumina. The sweater goes crazy. Thanks. I actually picked this myself. I I'm, I love this sweater. All right. Let's see if that worked. So first up, we are going to have... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, there's a tweet that's been going around where... Um, Dude reports his matches and just goes, I win! <laughs> Somebody literally just did that to me in the in the report scores uh, channel. So, sorry. I'm like all over the place tonight. <laughs> that, that tweet has made me laugh no crap like a hundred times in the last like week. All right, so yeah, Flamex versus uh, Tenchi. Tenchi Muso on the challenge. That's what I'm going to put on the scoreboard. Uh, Flamex historically performing pretty strongly in these tournaments. Um, definitely seen a lot from them. There's Flamex. Got the Nekos going in the chat. Love it. Um, additionally, I mentioned the Macherino. There's codes to claim. There's also sponsor quests you can do. So be sure to see, you know, if it's something you're willing to do, it might be just clicking a link might be following um, somebody on like Twitter or YouTube or Twitch. Uh, I might be retweeting a tweet. There's, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of non-committal. There's a lot of stuff that's maybe a little more committal. I saw one that was like download an app. I understand if you don't want to, but you know, most things pretty inconsequential. So definitely give those a try if you are so inclined. So we've got Tenchi in here as well. First to two as always. Let's get it going. All right, Akiha for Tenchi and Roa for Flamex. Both pretty strong characters in this game. I think Roa, definitely a character that shows a lot of prowess and one of those characters... Wait, what was that transition screen? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting to going air to air from Tenchi to get it started. Lightning locked down. Time to guess. Whiffs the 2B. It's going to be corner carry now for Tenchi. And uh, EX wheel to keep the combo going. Sets up a wheel. You're not going anywhere. But a little out of range. Dropped combo for Flamex. Moon drive to assess the situation. Gets the extra jump. Gets the extra air dash. Going to use that to great effect. This pressure from Flamex mounting. All right, corner carry. Spends the EX, gets a little bit of Moon Charge, and then the Air Throw to end it. That's going to be a Shield, and then a B follow-up. Uh, not quite. Moon Skills clashing. Ooh, Moon Skills right through that 236A or B. A little bit of Patience and Footsies. A lot of health can be recovered on both sides. Wouldn't be too surprised to see a Heat at the first opportune moment. Um, but this is actually going to be a ton of damage coming in from Flamex. One more hit will do it. Ooh, Fake. Dashes in. There's the heat from Tenchi, but uh, still cannot get hit here. Has meter on deck. Just going to block it out. Gets crossed up, gets to aid. Tech. Pressure. Tenchi not biting. 
Shield. A follow up. A follow up. Moon drive. Moon drive. Armor. Shield. And the BC follow up is going to do it for Flamex in round one. Getting it started fast and furious in this mash fest. Number 45. All right. EX wheel. I see that a lot from Akia. Using EX wheel to just keep the lockdown on the block string. Because shield is so strong in this game compared to other Melty and maybe even other like French bread style games. You don't necessarily want to meaty them with the wheel. Okay, corner carry. EX lightning, classic ender. Gets a little bit of extra charge, but doesn't get the air throw ender and is actually going to let Tenchi mash out of that situation. <gasps> Gets over the low. It's a lot of damage, but unfortunate drop combo from Flamex. Maybe a little bit of rush showing... And that's going to be Tenchi with a big opportunity here. High wheel isn't an immediate shield, but that BC follow-up hurts. And no pickup. All right, dashes through. Super. Game one, Flame X. Okay, waiting on the rematch here. Taking their time. I appreciate that. I think that's definitely something that should be done. Okay. Similar round start and a lot of patience from both players when they're at that almost sweep distance away from each other. Or maybe maybe even call it a maybe a 2B distance away from each other. Uh, patience on both sides. Doesn't want to mess with that. Rebeats. Rebeats this game a little potent. You don't want to mash too haphazardly against them. But it is oftentimes a turn to, or excuse me, a chance to take your turn back. All right, EX wheel, keep the pressure up. Empty jump low, gets blocked by Flamex. Grabbing their footing a little bit more, but oh my goodness, Tenchi falling with that jump C. Very strong move from Akia. Oh no, but the, the moon skill goes the wrong way. Okay, moon skill's going crazy right now. Right, I can get rid of that, excuse me. Again, a little, little while since I've... Uh, done some Lumina. Ooh, double jump, mix up. Flamex with these uh, strings and, you know, no potent anti-air necessarily for Tenchi to mash out with, but I definitely see some opportunities where Tenchi can maybe be trying to take their turn and, and at least risking uh, something, because now they're just waiting in the corner. Wow, wake up DP, I don't care. Gets the side switch. It's going to hurt a lot. This will be uh, next touch kills. EX wheel. Right in front of you, nothing. Ooh, actually does... That was intentional. I was going to say actually does reach the shield. Was trying to be too far in front of it so the shield wouldn't matter. But uh, the BC follow-up still gets caught on the other side by that same wheel. So good stuff there from uh, Tenchi. Looking out for that common follow-up to a shielded wheel. Okay. Big damage combo from Flamex here. Air throw ender. Fake. Oh, and causes Tenchi to flinch. This is actually going to be... It would have been if that combo didn't drop. I was going to say this is actually going to be match point for Flamex, but I spoke too soon. A follow-up will secure it there, though. Okay, magic circuits. Lockdown. Backs up from the DP. Full punish. 2C starter. This is going to hurt. But drops the combo. Okay, big combo again, uh... Flamex really showing some opportunity here. Gets the 3C Ender. Empty jump low. Ah, uh, this could kill. Yeah, not quite though. Gets the pickup again. Uh, guard cancel. Heat does not get shielded. Moon drive, moon drive. That's punish. Throw. High shield. Goes for the 236C. Definitely going to be a punish from Tenchi there. This is big damage. Do your biggest combo. Air throw Ender. Goes for the low. Does not quite make contact. Okay. Pressure. Nice. 5C. This is next hit kills. Front wheel, same setup as before. That time it was too far for the shield to catch. And Tenchi is going to even it up one to one. All right, game three. Both players showing a lot of promise here. Could go either way. Flamex with the first hit. All 
All right, corner pressure. Empty jump into the low, and the Moon Drive is not enough to save Tenchi. Not sure what they were expecting there. But uh, uh, Flamex dropping the combo, continuing the pressure, and Moon Scale whiffs on both sides, and that's a high off of the shield. That's a counter hit. This actually might kill. This is kind of close. Yeah, no. Too much scaling at the end, but uh, next hit will absolutely do it. Use the extra jump to air dash backwards. Oh my goodness. Overheads? Anyone got any overheads? Ooh. Oh no, no shield on the guard. Cancel heat. Shield's on the way down. Uses the B follow-up. Gets blocked. Tenji with full meter here. Could make this hurt. Unfortunately, it runs out before there's a chance to confirm into it. Big chance here. Dashes in. Jumping B is going to make purchase. Uh, the life bars are evened up now. Both players have heat on the table. I wouldn't be surprised to see a heat. Yes, indeedy. Uh, there's the heat. Locked down. Full meter on deck. Do not get touched. Oh, that could have been death. Moon drive. A follow-up. Knocks you all the way to the ground. No resources to spend, but EX wheel just built as the kind of follow-up Oki attempt. And a quick hit from Flamex is going to turn that into a win. Okay, tech. Corner. It's looking really good for Flamex right now. 3C Ender. Gonna get some Oki. Does not go for the empty jump low. Goes for the uh, the falling overhead. Empty jump low would have worked again. Pressure. Oh, that's a hit. As long as you just look out for heat here, you have pretty much everything covered. And you have Moon Drive to even cover for more. There's the heat. Gotta look out for that. Moon drive on deck. And uh, opportunity to kill here. I would just spend everything. Oh, this is gonna be so close. Will it kill? It will not. But one more hit will do it. Literally any touch and a run-up grab from Flamex will take it after that pressure sequence. Good stuff to Flamex. Gonna advance on in this bracket. But no slots from Tenchi. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tenchi popping up in, um, popping up in top eight from the loser side. Um, certainly a big contender. And as I said, Flamex has historically done pretty well in these brackets. So even though that was an early round, that's, you know, when the bracket is this stacked, the pairings are going to reflect strong stuff. This would be, you know, top 16 or, or maybe even top eight in any other bracket. All right, so next up, let me go ahead and mark that. Looks like we already got Luna in the in the lobby. You love to see it. Players paying attention. Let's just get faulty sticks in here. Bring them in here. Mark the scores. Faulty sticks. Eluna. While we wait, be sure to hit up that Macherino, exclamation point at Macherino in the chat. You can make direct contributions. You can click the claim code button to add 25 free cents, or you can complete the sponsor quest if you're so inclined to add even more free money to the pot. It does add up. It definitely gives a lot of support to WASD, to MASHFAST, and to the, to the people playing. Anything that gets contributed into the Macherino is going to go some portion of it to the top three players uh, in this bracket. All right, we got Faulty in the lobby. Faulty versus Luna. Faulty on Maids. And Luna on CL. I think CL is a very strong character in this game. I think uh, more and more people are starting to see that. But I have a few pretty strong CLs in my in my area, and anytime I play against them, I lose. So definitely expect to see some good stuff from Luna here. I throw Faulty into the corner, lock down. Pressure. Rebeat pressure. BC follow up off of the shield. Oh no, Luna gets mashed on. Yeah. See, this is why I think Seal is quite good. Uh, she doesn't have to commit much. And unless you're somebody like Aroa, uh, who would have like a full screen instant response to those projectiles, you can just play very non-committally, and Luna is going to take that in convincing fashion. Uh, Faulty reached the left corner, and Luna just never let them out. 
Now we're gonna try that same exercise from the other corner. Air throw ender. Double jump. Meaty knife. Ooh, the, see, I am so free to that. That throw follow-up off the hooligan. I am always looking for something else for Seal to do. And goes for it again. Gets the blood heat this time. Do not do anything. Do not press any buttons. Take all the throws in the world. Do not let this individual shield you. <gasps> well, you can't shield a grab, says Luna. And uh, is going to start the pressure. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is expose. You got to jump that faulty. Looking for the fuzzy jumps. Looking for the back dashes. Luna takes game one off the back of that hooligan throw. All right, moving forward. Luna running the same game plan as before. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But a uh, faulty gonna get their first combo of the set into the hard knockdown ender. Plant time. Moon Drive. I know how to deal with this. I've been playing this game, says Luna. And oh my... CL just never landing there. And uh, pressure now belonging to Luna. Never mind. Faulty with a chance again. Will we see the Plant Oki again? Yes. Plant Oki getting shielded. Faulty seeming confident in the shield interactions. Not really getting caught in the shenanigans. Almost expecting the shield. So I suppose that's fine to build your game plan around if you can expect the shield. But... Personally speaking, I, I wouldn't want to play those mini games. Ooh, fatal hit in air to air, but no conversion. A follow up on the shield. This looks like it's going to hurt a lot. Moon skill in the combo, but gets a drop. Nice pickup. You might die. Oh, you super die. Jumping around. This is a uh, match point for Luna. She takes this, she goes on to uh, top eight. No. Top 16 winners. Sorry. But that's neither here nor there. Ooh. Going for that hooligan grab again. Not quite getting it. Sweep connects for Faulty. Moon drive on the table. Four bars on the table. Spend something. There you go. Plant time. Flash kick. I don't care. Mix up time. Corner carry. Actually, do you die? Super. This is close. Wow. That's about as close as you can get. No OTG uh, opportunity there. Blood heat just to get some life back, but wake up, grab. Tell us, you know, what were you doing at the end of that match? Uh, don't say you were mash and grab. It was an option select. I was selecting an option. So yeah, this barely just didn't kill, and, and Luna with so much life here just decides, you know what, why not? Even though I got hit here, I'm just going to go for the grab right back. They're probably blocking, and they absolutely were. Good stuff. So that's going to be Luna advancing to play against Rooster Nick in top 16 winner's side. Thank you so much again for joining us. I'm just going to report a couple scores here uh, as they come through. Looks like we're still waiting on the results of uh, Lucy versus I've been tripping. So I'm actually going to go to the other side of the bracket that we have recorded here. And that's going to be Usoro versus Rallarina. So let me go ahead and ping them really quick and update the res resources. While I do that, be sure to hit the match arena. We appreciate it a lot. I just shielded, so I'm not going to give the full uh, spiel. But you know how it goes. Yusoro making a lot of appearances in these brackets. An Arcuid player. This is round three, actually. I think I had the wrong one last time. So we're going to see some Arc, and we're going to see whoever Rallarina plays. Also in this, we've got Luna versus Roosternik. Omni Scythe versus Flamex, which I think they played. I'm just waiting on the, re the results. And then Nega Reaper, whom uh, I know from our Blaze Blue brackets, is going to be playing the winner of Lucy and I've Been Trippin'. A lot of powerhouse players here. All right. And yeah, that is actually going to be Lucy who's playing against Nega Reaper. Just got the updated score for that. Okay. 
We are still waiting on these two. There is Ralarina. I see Saber. That's exciting. Haven't seen a Saber kind of since the game first dropped. A lot of people were playing Saber. And, you know, then the game kind of went through its its course of... Oh, no. That's a switch. That's Noel. No Saber. That's okay. I like watching Noel as well. And there's your Soro. They are good to start. Signature phrase, indeed, so true. Yep, go ahead and start. Fed trying to trying to cover bases, as uh, <laughs> as he's been exposed. Max does lose to Omniscythe, bringing Omniscythe to top eight winner's side, Miyako Gaming. But that's for later. Ark versus Noel. We'll see what type of Noel uh, Ral tends to play. And Yasuro, we know, very aggressive on the Ark. There's the overhead right to start, gets the elbow charge. Oop, Duncan. I think Ark's air grab ender is so strong. Okay. Beatdowns does go for a bit of a, a bit of a cheeky reset there, but uh, the hit stun wasn't quite worn out enough. Yusora with the keen awareness, knowing the BC follow up will punish that nail, and this is an arc combo. This is gonna hurt. Dunk. Next hit'll do it. Tries to shield perhaps the wake up moon skill. Rallarina not biting. Reset opportunity on deck. Ooh, does get the reset that time, which is a meaty nail. Okay, nail. Nail into heat. Doing a bit of a charge uh, is Isoro. No need to commit just yet. Get rid of some of that moon drive. Build back some of their own moon gauge. Super. No way that punishes. Yeah. Moon drive cancel. You don't die here. This is not death. This is close. But you can spend everything here if you're uh, Isoro. Does not spend super. Decides to save the bar. Knew it wouldn't kill. Double overhead is going to make contact and give round one to Isoro. Dash in. Dash in 2-2 is good enough in that case. Shields the nail. Shields the nail again. Deciding not to follow up. Just taking some life. Taking some moon gauge back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Duncan. Always on you is uh, Ark. Even after, after a double jump air grab ender. Wall bounce. EX. Two meters full moon drive on deck. No slouch for options here as Yusoro. But gets hit by the moon skill DP. Rallarina misses the meaty Yusoro using the moon drive to invincibility through it, and that's good enough. 1 0. Got a few more scores coming through. Tenchi defeats Shade Prince in loser's side. Not surprising. Um, Tenchi looked really, really strong in winner's side. And then Luna beats Rooster Nick 2 0 to advance herself into winner side top eight as well. Lord Yusoro in fact cooking. Oop, I hope that didn't interrupt the stream. My thing just froze for a second. Okay, we're fine. Pulls out of the corner. Moon drive, moon drive, but moon skill DP, that post CS interaction. Jumping C doing a lot of work here for Rallarina. Nice falling button. EX nail. Just to get some Moon Gauge back. Or, I'm sorry. That was to suck the Moon Gauge out of Yusoro there. Corner combo. Big Arcoid damage. Okay, shield, shield. The A follow up whiffs, though. And that will be round for Yusoro. Match point. How dare you complain about waking up to anyone's tweets with your retweets. There's so many people you could be talking about, but today I think I know exactly who you're talking about, Captain. But we won't get into that. We'll keep this PG. 
Corner goes for the air air to air reset. Doesn't quite get it. Rallarina with a good uh, pressure here. Gets a moon drive out of Usoro, but the backdash into the shoulder charge will give Usoro all the initiative they need. I mean, I already called out Star. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jostle. Oh my goodness, she's a whiff moon skill into an air grab from Usoro. Blood Heat, do not do anything. Bait that shield. Throw, I think another throw will do it. Ooh, just falling button onto the lows. Four bars on deck for Usoro. Has Moon Drive as well. Delayed A follow-up, gonna get caught, but the BC into the B follow-up is gonna work out for Usoro. All right, Duncan. We are, of course, talking about the same situation. Going up in the air. Oh no, the overhead whiffs. And the Clash Frames are not going to save you there. Small little combo from Rallarina to get the initiative back going again. Guard Cancel Heat does not get shielded. This is a lot of bar for Usoro. This is going to be close. EX? Super? Pocket Sand. That's a kill. I'm surprised that that kill. That's going to be 2-0 for Usoro. Definitely no slouch in our Melty Blood brackets. Good stuff. Alright, let me just mark that down. We've already got trash in the lobby. That's uh, that's what Nega Reaper is going by today. And that means we gotta get Lucy in here. scores we got T Wang beating Chaotix in losers moving forward he will be playing against Meek or Mike depending how you want to pronounce that there's Lucy with the Wark avatar I've seen Lucy play Wark okay readying up yeah they're good to go Oh, Lucy going with the Vlav. Vlav is a pretty strong character, I've heard, and uh, definitely a character that I see do a lot of work in this game. So let's see how Lucy's uh, Vlav, what, what Lucy's Vlav brings to the table. Okay. Good starter combo. Drops it, though. It's Miyako time. Mega Reaper, maybe a little overextension there on the on the combo. Ends up getting clipped. EX Fireball Ender, that did so much damage. Oh my goodness, the elbow from downtown actually connects with the Shockwave. Okay, beat down. Backdash in the corner, gets caught. Opportunity to wake up, wakes up with 5A, doesn't quite connect. Stomp, avoided. Slash, no counter hit. Opportunity, 3C. BC follow-up does not get uh, punished or make contact. Goes for the air grab, does trash. Gets the throw combo. The guard cancel heat, way late, but not shielded. Goes for the stomp, actually connects, and there's a combo off of that, but that is not it. Super on the table for Lucy. This is not a kill. Uh, it's barely a kill. Last hit before the air grab takes it for trash in round one. Super jumping around. Hi, throw combo. Goes for the reset, doesn't quite get it. 5A's on wake up, not doing it for Lucy. Perhaps a little bit of character unfamiliarity, perhaps still trying to feel something out. Miyako versus Vlob does not seem like the most uh, straightforward matchup either. Miyako has a lot of routes to get in on you, and while Vlob is not strictly a zoner, I do think Vlob is more comfortable farther away from his opponent. Okay, Ice Projectiles gets caught low. Oh, does not get the pickup though. Not used to that situation. Up kicks EX. Ooh, that's big damage. EX, get, or Moon Drive, excuse me, to get out of the corner. Dash under. Round two goes to Lucy. 
Alright, ups. Big ups. Ice mode Vlav, definitely a force to be reckoned with. It's the, it's the tactical round one loss, maybe. Ooh, stagger two A's is good enough! Trash gonna be in this combo now. Nice ender, builds back one more bar, gets caught, isn't able to block in time. There's the combo, Trash goes for the regular pickup off the 2A, 2A. Maybe the other one is big bodies only or something, because I've never seen them try to pick up a stomp. Could have just been a missed input as well. Moon drive back on the table for Lucy as well, and two bars. Gonna have to watch for out from Yako's three bars for the big stomp. Next game, because Lucy is going to take that round and actually go up 1-0 after becoming ice mode Vlav. The Cold Miser install was good enough. Man, Vlav is so cool. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I'm just musing to myself a little bit. I think this character is so cool. But that's because I don't play this game, I just watch this game. Stomp? Corner carry uh, for Nega Reaper off of this as well. Oof! Oh, but throws out of the corner. The little four throw OS. <gasps> Fatal counter. Nice pickup. Yep, just regular ender there. Swinging for the fences is Lucy, but not making any contact until now. Miyako, not the best, best whiff punisher either. Wow, air grab on the tech chase. Moon drive on wake up, moon drive right back at you. Heat. Stomp. Huh. BC follow up. Clash, clash, clash. Fatal. Runs up 2A, 2A. Gotta watch for something, something wild here. That last little bit of moon gauge. Either player can use it at any time. Footsies. Shields it, punish. <gasps> but it's not a counter hit punish. And it was not enough to kill. Barely enough on that B follow. Lucy perhaps counting on that to kill does not get the finisher. Okay, falling. Fatal counter. Just trying to catch Lucy maybe in something more advancing there is, is Nega Reaper. Shield. Catches the falling shield. Says, I know you're going to do that back at me. Empty jump, not quite safe enough. Gets up kicked. Mid range footsies. This is a big chance for Nega Reaper here. Throw. Goes for the double. Oh, that's an overhead. Goes for the double jump throw combo rather than taking the mix up opportunity off of a single jump. Moon Drive fully stacked. Blood Heat, not enough. Nega Reaper waiting for something from Lucy there and ended up getting it with the um with the blood heat catching the blood heat. So perhaps character swap here. Lucy known um for her um Roa for, for me. And I've also seen Ark or excuse me, Wark. Uh oh okay. Shiki. Just playing the cast here. Also, I did my part with the Matcherino. Thank you so much, OmniScythe. Always appreciate you. And I appreciate everyone in the chat who uses the Matcherino. Tell your friends. It's quick. Quick click. It's all you need. Okay. Shiki pressure is going. Okay, a little bit of footsies. Jumping around. Backing up. Oh my goodness, the increased uh, 5C. Good enough. Uh, making purchase. No, you have to stand shield that. Cheeky combos. Could get a heat here if you wanted. Um. If she wanted it, but uh, unfortunately for Lucy, Trash is going to get out of the corner there. Sorry, I'm trying to record scores at the same time. <laughs> okay, slides in. That's uh, this is good enough. Oh, drops the combo. 
didn't want to spend any meter perhaps or just wasn't confident in the way to do it but the air to air at the end is going to be good enough to give lucy that round okay pressure there it is Nega Reaper not sure how to deal with that increase 5c it's it's worked three or four times now but uh corner pressure and miyako in the corner is very scary oh with grab cross up reset this is a lot of damage Oh, DP whiff. No punish. Lucy the one with the corner now. But sides have switched again, and Nega Reaper takes that round. Match point, both players. Winner of this is going to go on to play Omni Scythe in winner's top eight. Throw into the corner for Lucy. Meaty falling JC. A, A, A. Super. Shiggy going to unlock a few more moves. We'll see if Lucy's uh, willing to use them or just going to keep the same game plan going. Just a grab. Ooh, moon skill stomp for the counter hit. Moon drive on the table for both players. Wouldn't be surprised to see like a uh, 6BC from Lucy here. Whoa, the stomp delayed enough to let Shiggy fall to the ground. Nice heat. Meter on the table. Throw combo. Reset opportunity. Just going to get the air grab knockdown. No double jump. Double overhead. This isn't a kill. This is guess guess for game. Gets out of the corner. Backdash, backdash. Gets the sweep. Gets the confirm. Follows up, looking for something. Not quite getting it. Moon drive, keeping Lucy safe. Gets the hit. And it's good enough. Woo! And then in traditional Lucy fashion, so I can't get a replay. All the <laughs> All that for. Good stuff to Lucy though. We'll advance to winner side top eight in that 2 1. Nega Reaper, aka Trash, definitely not out of it. Uh, we'll be able to make the losers run. So we are going to flip the script a little bit. I'm going to run Luna versus Usoro from winner side top eight first, just so we don't have Lucy play right back to back. And Luna's listening. So good on you as always. We love to see it. This will be for this will be top eight winners. This is just Luna. We've had Luna, Lunar, and Lucy in this bracket, so I'm trying to make sure I don't mix up my melty gamers as I type. There's Luna in the chat. Make sure you use that Macharino too, if you haven't yet. Hey, okay. wait, I got pushed. I got pushed and signature phrased. I'm, I'm gonna push back, it's fine. Take your time, if, if you're not ready, you can take your time. Okay. So this is Arc Seal. Two characters who, in my opinion, have been coming up in popularity as the game's life has gone on. We actually haven't seen any DLC yet either in this bracket. I see some players who play the DLC in the names, but they just haven't made it up on stream yet. Well, you sort of gonna make the best of that situation after the shield. Air throw you back into the corner. Moon drive on moon drive, but that 2B was already stuck out there. Oh my goodness, BC clashes. Fatal counter on the B follow-up. It's going to be good enough for Yasuo to get a corner carry combo. If it wasn't dropped. And Luna is going to get the opportunity to pick this up. And also drop. Wow. Good confirm off of the air knives into the 2-3-6. Uh, See? I believe that's a 2-3-6. Corner carry. Elbows. Wall bounces. So Ark, Ark, while very versatile fighter, doesn't actually have a lot of tools that take her full screen and, and let her maybe either punish the knives or deal with the knives. That's a blocked flash kick, though, and that's an easy punish. That's death. Yeah, spend it all. Chains. And the pocket sand for the Ark Drive finish. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, nice. Moon Drive to keep yourself safe. 5 8 anti air. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big combo. Push to the corner. Little mix. Oh my goodness. Just land. She took three jumps and three knife throws to stay in the air. Wow, wake up throw. Good enough. Moon are going to be able to take that. Shields the overhead. Corner. Power up. Okay. Heats off of the air to air. That's death. Wow. Luna ready with the confirm into the pile bunker off the knives. And it's going to go up 1 0. Oh. Winner of this goes into winner's finals. So that winner's finals is a guaranteed top three. A lot on the line in this match. Yusoro, I know, no slouch to uh, losing momentum, though. So definitely do not count Yusoro out. But uh, this is looking pretty good for Luna. Meaty knife. Guard cancel heat. Guard cancel heat. Very hot right now. Buy stock and guard cancel heat. It's been working all night. Moon drive knives into a dash under. Very cheeky. Spend the meter. Spend the meter or you will regret it. Oh, wow. Almost lived to regret it was Luna. But... With a P on that round. Yeah, I, I see I see it where Ark doesn't necessarily have the tools to contest these knives the way some other characters might. And and that could be something that's getting catching your sorrow out, because those knives go through a lot of armor. Any kind of armored moon skills, uh, even in moon drive, tend to lose to the knives. Okay, that's EX, that's a big punish, yeah. Spendin'. Soro's got to roll this into a victory, though. You don't want to let uh, Luna get out of the corner here. Okay, shield, shield, shield. Mario Party. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heat, yeah. This gives uh, Isoro another chance here. Oh! Hello? Are you kidding me? Goes for the full screen super to punish the knives. Luna says, I have seen this before. I know exactly how to respond to this. Cancels into the EX, just just like that. Cancels into the EX and says, that's not gonna hit me, die. Now if that, if that doesn't make you hit exclamation point match Reno and go click claim code, I, I can't make you do it. That's, there's no, there's nothing I can do sitting in this chair that's more impressive than that. I, I'm gonna have to count on the rest of the bracket to do so. Yeah, that was indeed disgusting. Mascherino guys, I need money, I'm so broke right now. Okay, you heard it from the person, person who just made that display. All right, next up, Lucy versus Omniscythe. This is Lucy facing off against another Miyako. Will will Lucy decide to go um, Vlav again? Or is this straight to one of the money makers? Let me go ahead and ping that. I don't know who... There's Omniscythe, okay. And there's Lucy with a Coma avatar. I'm a, I'm a Coma fan. Flamex moving on over Meek in bracket. That will put Flamex into loser side top eight. Tenchi also making loser side top eight over Rallarina. And we're still waiting on two other matches. Oh, let me actually get over there. Lucy going with the Wark against Omniscythe's Miyako. So this is going to be an interesting match. Uh, Work has the donuts. Uh, as as I say that, it happens. Work has the donuts. Miyako is going to probably have to play the aggressor in this matchup. Not that the donuts do a whole lot of work by themselves, but if they are allowed to set the pace of the match, that's going to be bad news for Miyako. Ooh, throws the empty shield. Throw combo for Wark. Knockdown. 
Big chance, meaty donut. BC follow about you died. This is this is death. Oh, dropped combo. Lucy gets another chance. Using the X to heat here, probably. I suspect heat coming. Yes. Okay, blocks the wake up stomp. Moon skill on the table for both players still. Lucy's moon drive running out. Super. Does not connect. Dropped combo from Omni Scythe. I saw him say something about a no sleep speed run, so. Could be fatigue, could be uh, just a scuff situation trying to combo into super. So that Lucy going to take round one off the back of that drop combo. Back dashes the falling shoulder, or elbow, excuse me. Powering up. Lucy empty shield, block, block. Tries to run up throw, does not quite get it. Anti air in my melty blood, no way. Air jump mix up, or double jump mix up. Knock up. That was so meaty. Not sure if Lucy was trying to do something there or just got caught high. It did say counter, but uh, that was so meaty. Perhaps trying to just mash out of it didn't look like it was going to connect. 1-1. One, one. That was a perfect from Omnisite. Donuts? Confirm. Man, it works. It works really cool, too. Hard knockdown. That did a lot of damage. Heats out. Omniscythe. Gonna be looking for super, perhaps. Donuts. Yeah, so here's what I was talking about where Lucy's actually just setting the pace of the match. So even though these interactions aren't chunking Omniscythe or anything, it's making Omniscythe take extra risks and it's making Omniscythe move in ways that, you know, aren't being dictated by him. And that's actually going to allow Lucy to take that game. Okay, looks like our top eight has rounded out. Lunar takes it over Nega Reaper. So we will see Lunar. And uh, I've been tripping takes it over Rooster Nick. That will round out our top eight while we wait for them to decide what they want to do here. Omniscythe going back to the room. Got to restart really quick. Okay. While he does that, we're going to chill here for a second. Hope everyone's having a great Monday. It's Monday Night Mash Fest. I'm your substitute host, Ryer, here because I don't have a date on Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I guess, you know what? If you are all here on your valentine's day date welcome if not which perhaps is more likely uh also welcome we're very happy to have you looking less egyptian indeed but same diet soda addiction so we, we've got that in common the date is being with the boys gravy what are we doing later Just a regular old Monday. Yeah, same. I worked today and everything, but yeah, we're just gonna wait for Omnisite to get back. Had to restart their game. And then we'll play out the rest of this. Okay, perfect timing. Get to, get to scratch my nose now, because Omnisite is back. Even though I do that on camera all the time here. Don't tell anyone. All right, so this is Lucy going up, going into this up 1-0. This is for winner's finals. Everyone's picked this. I don't know if it's because I made the lobby that this is my OST choice, but this song has played in every match. And, you know, it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a good one, and I think it's fitting for Valentine's Day, so... Let's, uh... Take a moment to appreciate the ones we love while Omnisite beats Lucy's face in with Miyako. <laughs> Meaty again. Lucy says, enough! I'm going to shield it finally. And knowing Omnisite, I actually don't think we'll, we'll see the empty jump low interaction one after that gets shielded. I think we're going to see it one more go at it. Assuming Omnisite gets a chance to play. <gasps> Drop super! But just... No! <laughs> The Alex punish, <laughs> the no punish punish, just a B follow-up instead of a big meaty combo, and Lucy's gonna take the round for that. 
The whiff super shielded interaction, and it was a little awkward of a position for Omni Scythe, but that whiff super did not get punished. Up kicks. Meaty? Yeah, went for the overhead again, got shielded again by Lucy. Now, I suspect we see the empty jump low if there's a chance. Oh no! Donut mix ups. Donut block this. Says Wark. Not meaty. Who? No combo off of this, but one more. Wait, excuse, excuse me? Okay, I thought he was dead. Blood heat and just gets a uh, bowling ball wheeled. Oh, let me hit the replay button. <laughs> just gets bowling ball wheeled in. This was so sick. First of all, this combo almost killed. But then seeing the blood heat. Goes for the 10 pin, gets gets the hit. Lucy into winner's finals to play against Luna. But we gotta go to loser's side first. Let me try to record this score. Refresh my challenge. Seal player's thriving, says the chat. I indeed see that myself. I think Seal is really, really good. All right, now we're gonna go into loser side. This is gonna be Flame X versus Lunar. Definitely a mash fest run back. We've seen them play before in mash fest, I'm sure. So this is going to be uh, Roa versus Deadass Noel, I think. So our first DLC appearance. She is not bottom three this entire community off the goopy. I cannot agree with you more. I don't think she's like SS tier or anything, but she ain't, she ain't bad. Also, that could be true, right? You could be bottom three in this game and still be like A tier because everyone's really good in this game. What does this character do? True. Koyo in the chat. Shout out to Koyo. Okay, we got Flamex in here. Another solo com. Yeah, this one's on me though. Uh, I just didn't ask anyone. <laughs> I had a bit of a hectic weekend and forgot I was subbing for this until today, and I didn't ask anyone. So yeah, it's just me. Okay, still waiting on Lunar. We still have 29 Macharino codes left, and we are in the top eight of this bracket, so try to use them if you haven't yet. Let your friends know. Uh, I know a lot of people are out and about tonight. There is Lunar, who is going to have the name Luna in this. Do not get it twisted. Yep, as expected, Dead Apostle Noel versus Roa. Two very strong characters that I enjoy watching. Now, full disclosure, I don't know a lot about Dead Apostle Noel like I do about the rest of the cast. Um, so I will be reacting pretty organically to a lot of this stuff. Dan Hibiki Kohaku, the maid. Oh my goodness, 214A just to get it started. Happy 214 indeed to Flamex. It's the OS. It's the OS, Luna. It's... <laughs> They'll just say it about both. Okay. Classic Flamex pressure with the jumps. No attempt at the anti-air with a 5A or anything. Defense on deck. Goes through with the moon skill. Combos. Gets the setup. No, not quite. Two A's. Wow, standing there with the shield. Looking perhaps for that. Looking for the 214A. I'm guessing from Flamex is is Lunar here. 
Oh my goodness! I like this patience uh, from Lunar. Definitely... No need to commit, and wow, gets the combo off of that? Not quite, but good enough with a projectile to follow it up. Okay, making a rain. Shields. Oh, right through. Oh, drops the combo, though. Not sure if um, that Apostle Noel has a smaller hurt box or anything like that. Ooh, gets the shield on the 2-on-4, but the B follow-up is going to be good enough to give it to Flamex there. Into the air. Empty jump. Shield, shield. Uh, definitely not out of it yet is Lunar here. Air-to-air -air counter hit is going to give a combo. Drops it. Gets the follow-up throw. Sets up the, the cannon. Uh, is this death? Super? No, just goes for a setup. I died. I mean, chat room. <laughs> I died there. <laughs> that is game one to Lunar. Rematch, rematch. Flamex just thinking about that for a second. I don't think Flamex you know, made any super poor decisions when the 50-50 hits. Yeah, 50-50 be hitting. It feels really scary to, like, even just try to hit, not a direction, but just to hit the shield button there, too. Feels kind of scary, because if Lunar decides to do nothing there, you, you also perish. Gets the shield, but doesn't get the punish. Wow, just run up shield in your face. I don't care. Okay, increase. Can't keep getting away with this. Alright, gets the knockdown. It's time. Walks into it, unfortunate. But uh, no follow-up from uh, Lunar. Flamex has been on the ropes this entire time. Definitely showing some signs of either unfamiliarity with, um, with Deadass Noel, or hesitation on the way that Lunar is mixing up his options. Like, run-up shield makes it really scary to press anything, and then once you're not pressing anything against, you know, your opponent, they get to run all their shenanigans. Alright, gets the shield there, but doesn't follow it up. I actually agree with that. 2A on the other side. Corner pressure. Gets a little bit of a charge there. Meaty, do meaty falling A. Lunar confident in the corner, just waiting. Sets with the spikes, air to air, no counter hit though. Zoning? Question mark? Oh wow. Beats through that uh that stagger. Not quite tight from uh, Lunar there. EX Lightning. Life lead uh in favor of Flamex here. <gasps> but maybe not for long. Oh no, BC follow up, you're dead. Flamex, uh... Whoa! That was so scuffed! Flamex, uh, battling back here, getting the 2 one 4 b into the 2 3 6 c which is almost certainly not what the expectation was there. But the hard knockdown will give uh, a chance here. Does get the stand shield there. EX. Moon drive on deck for both players. Big shield. Shields that. BC follow-up. Rebeat. Both players rebeating, just trying to hit each other with their uh, very potent projectiles. Anti-air 5A, it looked like there. EX, it's time. Guess for game. Nice defense. Gets the correct side block into the follow-up of, of a shield to get out of that situation. Blood Heat is on deck. Luna, uh, excuse me, Lunar here, probably not going to press anything. Not surprising at all. 2C combo starter for uh, Flamex here. This is big damage, but no meter to spend. Wow. Goes under the projectile. That was unfortunate. I was going to say, goes under the projectile. Gets the pickup. Has a meter. Spends it. This is really close. 
spends it all. Just spends everything. Very, very nice from Flamex with the awareness to know if I moon drive here, I'm gonna build extra meter. I'm gonna be able to do, you know, an extra jump into an extra six BC. And with all that meter was able to use the minimum scaling of two, three, six C in the air to get the kill there. Very impressive. All right. Oh, unfortunate. The moon drive does not get a good interaction afterwards. Lunar gonna be able to set up anything he wants here. BC follow-up hurts, though. Gets an OTG. Gray beat. Chance for Lunar here. Flamex sitting at about 50% life. No moon drive on either side. Full butter on both sides. Roa with a lot of neutral skippy ways to spend meter if he gets the opponent to block once. Kind of like that. Okay, run up grab, set up. Oh no, DP into nothing. Lunar just being patient and taking the round for it. I, I have, I have um, uppercut itis with uh, uh, with Roa as well. I always want to uppercut when I play that character, so I can I can relate. Mix up, Moon Drive. I don't want none of that. Oh. Hold the phone. That was a crouch shield. It looked like she was standing there. Is she like Michael? Not this Michael. Is she like Mika? Is she, is she like Mika where she's uh, standing? So you are a Roa player? I am a Roa player, yes. Very much. Alright, yep. There it is again. I agree with that. Spend the moon drive. Why risk... You could have maybe 236 seed, but like, why risk not killing there? Deadass Noelle Crouch is so scuffed. Yeah, I, I guess it is. She stands during the Crouch animation. That's cursed. Come. Oh! Backdash is the Blood Heat! This is a huge chance for Flamex here. Alright. Roa just loving life. See, that was a Crouch Shield. That's really, really disorienting. <laughs> now it's all I can see. Yeah, that Backdash was sick. Moon Drive gets thrown. Not too much punishment there. Tries to air dash out. Luna just running a lot. Ooh, two bees under the projectile. Spends the last little bit of that Moon Drive with a Hail Mary. Gets locked down. Gets away from those Rachel poles. Charging. Just throwing everything. Everything but the kitchen sink. This is a lockdown. Uses it to get heat. Nice blocks. <gasps> the two B. The air dash goes over it. Builds a meter. And takes it. Didn't even need the meter. Lunar going to take it 2-1 to one over Flamex in a really, really close set. I don't think I hit replay in time, but we'll see what I was able to catch. Oh yeah, right here. Just that last interaction. Air dash over 2B, the classic. Flamex out in top 8. Tied for 7th. These have all been like two to one sets though. I've been enjoying these matches a lot. I love watching Melty Blood. Frosty Fausting's Melty Blood was a, a treat to watch. All right, next up is gonna be Tenchi versus I've Been Trippin'. Tenchi's already in here. I love you guys, uh, you uh, folks for, uh, I love you folks for paying attention to the chat and just knowing when to join, making me not have to type. All right, so we've got Tenchi and I've been tripping. Another Roa. Trip. Shout outs to Triplicate, wherever he may be. <laughs> oh, it's a coma. Let's go. Okay, I gotta, I gotta root for a coma. Coma is my favorite character to watch. I don't know what you're talking about, Koya. All right, backs off round start. So I've played this match a lot, Akia versus Coma, uh, on the side of Coma, and what really gets me here when I play it. 
is that Koma's 2B, traditionally a really good anti-air, does not always favorably interact with um, Akia's jump buttons. Akia jump C, Akia jump B are both very good at stuffing what Koma's trying to do uh, ground to air. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for streaming the tournament. I will enjoy watching it. We're happy to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to contribute to or claim code in the match arena. All right, I've been tripping. Guard cancel heat. Again, the stocks are high on that, but Rekka is just going to finish the job. Yeah, we got the Melty Blood party going on here. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thank you for having me as your host tonight. Oh my goodness, that's going to catch with that sweep. Rebe going for a reset. Doesn't quite get it on the side of Tenchi. Beat down. Lockdown. Good defense from I've been tripping. Oh my god. Run up Rekka works again. He can't keep getting away with this. Oh good. Jumps uh good jump air dash C there. Just tries to bust out of the wheel instead of shielding it. Does not want to play the minigame. Moon skill Rekka. I smell super. Grab does not get the 2C pickup. There's the 2B counter hit air to ground. Game one goes to I've been tripping. Coma Gaming. Alright, 5A anti air. Beat downs. EX wheel. That, that's a high wheel. Don't low shield that. Ah! Does not die for it. Clash frames. Pressure. Typical coma pressure. Oh my goodness. 5C. I don't care. Jumps at it. That's a big damage combo. Goodness, shield RPS working out in nobody's favor. No meter left on the table, no moon gauge left on the table uh, for Trip and Tenchi, respectively. 2B, 2C, rebeat. Doesn't get the mix. Clash frame stubbornness prevails with another 2A. Is this footsies? Not quite. Okay, EX wheel. Same setup. Just stands up into it. Uh, one meter on deck. Probably not enough to kill, but this is really close. Wow. Okay. It was just enough. Beat downs. Corner carry for Tenchi. Moon drive on the table for both players. Expect to see a wake up moon drive. Ooh, not quite. Just because the wheel was set up so from so far away. There was no imminent threat. But Tenchi has a chance here now. Same thing. Far away wheel. Tries to backdash it. Guard cancel heat. These wheels are just out here. But goes right through it with the uh, moon skill Rekka. Nice combo. Into super. Raise the roof. What's the setup? Sandori whiffs. Oh, gets clipped low from a distance. Tenchi with a chance here. Goes for the anti-air, doesn't quite get it. No moon drive on the table for either player. One meter on the table for both players. Not even going to matter, though. Tenchi takes game two swiftly. Yeah, that 2-2-B hit from really far away. All right, match point for both players. Another 2-1 we're going to have here. Round start 5A. Shades of Magneto. I don't care. Rebeat into resetting pressure is going to get trip caught here. High wheel. DP. Air grab. Oh my goodness, you could have died for that. Shield recovering in time with the full moon gauge on the side of Tenchi. Very lucky. God armor established. Clash frames on the 2C. Oh my goodness. The creation of man leads to a combo for I've been tripping. Heat works. Goes for the anti-air, expecting I've been tripping to jump out. Gets the punish on the moon skill. 
And this is uh, just going straight for it. Life bars evened up. Heat on the table for I've been tripping, but this corner is going to be relentless. Gets the falling JB. Tenchi kills. Max meter on the table for I've been tripping. Almost no resources on the table for Tenchi. This is an eco round for sure. Pistols only. Just try to take it to round three unless you get a really nice interaction. Oh my goodness. The patience. Gets over the low. It's coma time. Corner carry combo. Drops it in the record portion. Leapfrogging. Sees the shield. Yeah, no thanks. Gets the low, but does not get the confirm. The wheel actually scuffing it up. Four bars on the table here. You could just you do so much damage here. Heat on wake up. No OS to be found. What? Oh, that was so sick! Wait! Oh. <coughs> Yo! Tenchi! Stop! Not dead! I'm replaying that other interaction, though. I don't care if it's not the round end. That was so sick. Look at this. I see you heating? Super. You're gonna super me? I'm out. Perish. And then I thought this combo was gonna kill, but... It does not... And uh, Tenchi taking it and advancing to losers quarterfinals, where Tenchi will have to play against Omni Scythe. But first, we have the other side of losers quarters. That is going to be Lunar versus Usoro, another Mash Fest classic. So this is going to be Ark and uh, DA Noel. I shall play Master Duel now. Thanks for coming. I've been tripping. Uh, I'd like to see you enter again. We got another one coming in two weeks. I think this is the first time I've seen you here because, yeah, you sent me your connection test. So definitely hope to see you back. There's Lunar. We need you, Sora. Got some folks in the chat. I see some newer folks in the chat. Good to see you here. Thanks for checking out Monday Night Mash Fest number 45. So this week is Melty Blood Type Lumina. We alternate Mondays with Undernight Inbirth and Melty Blood Type Lumina. And I will talk about that at the end because it looks like Yusoro is here. So I don't expect any surprises on the character select screen here. And I do think uh, with Yusoro versus Lunar here. We might see a similar interaction. I shall play my main next time. That's ominous. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I did see you on Roa when you entered the lobby, but let's not talk about that. I think what we might see here is, let's talk about this match. What we might see here is a similar thing to where Yusoro had to fight uh, CL where Ark doesn't have the best tools to deal with too many long distance things. So it is going to be on Yusoro to bring the fight to Lunar. And that is exactly what he's doing right now. Oh my goodness, the full charge 5C gets shielded, but no punish. EX, set up opportunity. My sub, my sub is my Drytron deck. That's, that's, that's real talk. I like seeing that. All right, mix up, calling, calling all the all the poles. Dunk. Oh, falling button is going to be a counter hit there. Full moon gauge. I don't think this is enough to kill, but one mix up, guess or die. I guess not. Oh my, it's heat safe. It's microwave safe. You can't heat that. Oh my god. Good stuff to Lunar there on that mix-up. Pressure again from Yusoro. This is looking like the start of last round. Backdash into the corner. Moon drive to stay safe. Moon drive back at you. Shield interaction. I shall sub for that joke. Let's go. Earning my keep. Shields the mix-up. 2-2. Moon skill and 
enough chase down with the air dash afterwards. Much appreciated, I've been tripping. Thank you for the sub, um, especially for my corny ass joke. <laughs> you are appreciated. I hope to see you again soon. Dunk? Oh, double overhead. Melty Blood Classic. Easy kill here for your Sorrow. Spend one bar. Hello? Spend two bar? Yeah, okay. Had that delayed uh, decision making available where he could see if it would kill before and then spend the second bar when, when necessary. Okay, blows them all up. Knock up, AAA. Text the throw, very bold. Works out though. Chance? I don't know what's happening. Lunar with the corner still. Wow, just clash skills out and decides to take the corner back instead of doing an extended combo. I think with Dead Apostle Noel, while she does have some nasty mix-ups and such, she is, at heart, a projectile character. So keeping her in the corner rather than taking her mid-screen and doing slightly more damage is the correct decision. But now this is Ark we're talking about, so this is going to be plenty of corner carry anyways. Oh no, the mini 2A worked on Wake Up, but did not convert it into a combo, and now Lunar has all the initiative. Heat? Wow, that worked out. Super. Make it rain? Make it stop! Oh my god. And that is going to be game one for Lunar. Yeah, Lunar is out here cooking. I thought that EX move that was called was not the uh, exploding um, spears, but the DP, and I was curious how that interaction would have went. Ooh, speaking of DP, that's a whiffed one from Usoro, and that's going to lead to a side swap, mix-up time combo. Yeah, shield it. I don't want any of that. That's got to be scary to shield, though. I mean, maybe once you see Lunar take to the sky, you can decide to shield, but it feels like if he just waits and you try to shield, you perish. Dunked. Double overhead into the low. Good stuff for Yosoro here. Clean bread and butter pressure. Spend something here. You're wasting a... Uh, you got opportunity cost meter sitting on the table. Decides not to and uh, gets clipped. Gonna go into the next round with three bars, though. On, uh, on his last chance. Oh no, unfortunate. The step back, falling spears. <gasps> that was wild. It hit behind Dead Apostle Noel there. A little bit of a year from both both players there. Charging up. Knocked down. Meaty 5A, overhead. Uni players can't block overheads. You heard it here first. Ooh. Knocked down in the corner. Plenty of mix-up time. Moon Drive to keep the pressure going. Teched. Goes for the DP on the post-throw tech. That's a shield of moon skill. That's a full combo. Spear plays spoiler. No. Unfortunate. Goes for the YOLO super. Does not get the punish off the BC follow-up. And Yusoro... This is something I see a lot in Yusoro's game. And I, uh, I've seen Yusoro play quite a few games for us. Uh, I Oh no. Hold on. I might have jinxed it. I think, I think he's dead. Oh tragic dropped combo but what i was gonna say was yusoro pays attention to previous interactions i didn't get to replay either because i was talking too much but yusoro pays attention to previous interactions and saw that that super was coming out again which is what got him killed in the last game and answered it perfectly it was just a dropped combo that led into a loss there good stuff to both players yusoro out in fifth lunar advancing to losers semi-finals where he will play the winner of Omni Scythe and Tenchi, which is our next match. They're already here. Y'all are making my job so easy. I didn't even have time to type the names. It's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Ah. Boom. Nailed it. All right, Miyako, is this a run back? We saw, nope, we did not see these two fight each other, but uh, this matchup, 
matchup will be an interesting one. Definitely Miyako playing the aggressor, as she often does. Uh, she's short as well, so Akia might have some some stuff she can use that she might not have otherwise been able to. But Omni Scythe right now just playing aggressor. Gets the throw off of the Moon Drive. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one for Tenchi, I think. Because this isn't just any Miyako either. This is Omni Scythe Miyako. Believers? I believe. Pressure. Rebeat pressure. Akia not one to go swinging with buttons too often either, so... Definitely going to be hard to find the opportunity. Oh my goodness. This is a uh, corner pressure big time from Omnicide. Stay keeping it real safe as well. Oh no, you died. Unfortunate. So that is a quick game one for Omnicide. Winner goes on to lose their semis to play against Lunar. And we still got Lucy and Luna. Oh man, my throat. Like, I, my brain is going to get so mixed commentating these last few matches. But I'm excited to see all these players play it out. Oh my goodness, instant overhead. Moon skill. The clash frames are going to make it work. Good combo here. Opportunity. Unfortunately, uh... Gets mashed out on. Omniscythe, never scared to mash. Okay. EX wheel. That's going to do a lot of damage. That was really early in the combo. This might actually kill. Yeesh. This game does damage uh, when people spend resources, which I really like to see. Falling JC. Gets the confirm. Tenchi powering up. Perhaps getting a read on how Omniscythe trying to play. Oh no, bonked on the head with the B follow-up. Fatal counter hit. Heat out. Four bars and full moon drive on deck for Omniscythe. Do not get touched, you will explode. Nice fatal counter falling JB. My GeForce game ready driver is available, so hopefully I don't crash. And uh, Tenchi will take that one. 1-1. One, one. Both players with a shot here. Love seeing the support in the chat as well. Even if this is someone you may have to fight <laughs> later in the bracket. You know, you'd much rather beat up your friend in bracket than beat up a stranger. All right, finesse from both players. Oh my goodness. Moon skill. <laughs> I love that. Heat on wake up working again. I've I haven't seen much uh anti-heat OS or just much expecting of heat at all um in this bracket. Definitely something that maybe is a little more unreliable on on net play. Uh wouldn't surprise me. Okay, corner time. Patience. Omniscythe playing a little more, uh, a little more reserved right now. Not running in as hard. Not opening himself up for opportunities like that. Tenchi is going to get that though. Blocks the cross up. Does not block the overhead. This is a kill. No, not quite. Guess or die. Throw. Throw combo. Match point. Omniscythe. To be rebeat, counter hit. Wall bounce. Makes up time. Moon drive on the way up. Gets the clash, gets the trade after the clash. Pressure. Shield. BC follow up, this hurts. This could be one more touch uh, if Omni Scythe builds super here. Oh no. Oh no. And the super is built. That's it. Omniscythe takes it over Tenchi, 2-1. to one. Unfortunate, the heat came back to bite Tenchi. And yeah, you can see not as much meter here. And I like I like the, the, the thought process here. Omniscythe using Moon's skills to keep the combo going to get Tenchi to the ground. 
And then bada bing, bada boom, super confirm. That will be Tenchi taking fifth as well, tied for fifth with Yusoro. Certainly no slouch of a performance there. And Omniscythe moving on to loser semis. Let me just change the room settings. Because now we are at first to three in our winner's side, winner's finals. This is Lucy versus Luna. Help me chat to make sure I don't mess these names up. There's Luna. You will get a ping because I'm already mid typing it. Let me type that up in the scoreboard as well. Winners, finals. So this is definitely, I would say, CL from Luna. That's all we've seen her play. Lucy has played many characters this bracket. Has a lot of characters in, in uh, her pocket as well. So I think Roa does great into CL. I think Roa with 236C, with his lightning projectiles, um, with his super even, has a lot of game versus CL. So I suspect we might see Roa. Maybe not in game one. Lucy's been one to play a sub uh, prior to, you know, crunch time. But I do think Roa is a good choice. It is Wark right now. I could see Wark working too. Has a similar 236C-esque move in the, the full screen, like chest grab. Has projectiles of her own. Definitely has a chance here. I was gonna say, Lucy standing completely still round start. A little, uh, little spooky. Initiative goes to Luna. Oh, 2B whiffs, Moon Drive to stay safe. Jumping donuts. Corner swap. Hard knockdown. What's the mix? Meaty donut. BC follow up. BC follow up. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a projectile war. It's an arms race. Okay, heat out. Oh, this hurts. Yeah, spend it all. Oh my goodness. Hold this 40%. Increase normals for the staggers. Does the moon skill donut on the way up spend some real moon gauge there? Gonna build a lot of it. Ooh! Oh, I thought that was it. Gonna build a lot of moon gauge back though. If, uh, if Luna is just content to throw these daggers, I'm not sure what exactly Luna is looking for. Maybe an opportunity to confirm into 236C herself, but Lucy just ready for all of that by just, you know, frankly standing still, shielding, no shield follow ups. No need to do anything risky, and just building back Moon Gauge. Look at the Moon Gauge difference right now between these two players, and I think a lot of that has to do with Lucy's willingness to just chill. But uh, Luna, not out of resources, has four full bars, and there's a 236C confirm. Looking for a full screen backdash, perhaps, because that does catch. Staggered daggers, Moon Drive to stay safe, Moon Drive right back at you, air grab, no combo off the air grab for Wark. Anything can happen here. <gasps> no way. Too high for the flash kick. And is actually going to work out. Does not get the kill uh, from Lucy's side, but that really fast moon skill donut is going to take game one. This is first to three. Plenty of time to adapt, but Lucy looking very comfy into CL. <laughs> Whiffing, whiffing. Shielding. Remember, you get a little bit of health back too when you shield a projectile. So, Lucy upping her health total just a bit uh, each time one of these gets shielded. Same can be said for, uh, for Luna, but it's certainly more potent when you're shielding CL's projectiles than Wark's. Not only does Wark do a grip of damage every time she touches you, but she throws far fewer projectiles than CL does. Okay, into the corner with E. Wall bounce. This is one and a half interactions for death. Flash kick EX out of the corner. This super jump 
This super jump donut toss that Lucy is doing is so good in this matchup from what I can see. Especially when um, she's building so much freaking moon gauge from these shields. So they're all moon skill donuts. Oh my goodness, Pow Bunker? No freaking way. Let's go, Luna. Calls out the jumping donut. Either mistimed? That's that's awareness. Uh, chat. Sheesh. Indeed. This is a treat. Okay, B follow-up. Moon Drive. Get off me. No Moon Gauge on the side of Lucy. Oh, Luna gets clipped, though. Corner. Three bars on deck. EX Hooligan out of the corner. I should say Moon Drive Hooligan out of the corner. Big damage. Hard knockdown. A little bit of charge. Empty jump low. Smack. Oh, fatal air to air. Uh, Luna has been getting a lot of the better round start interactions, I think. A lot of, like, air grabs and a lot of air to airs. But uh, it's always Lucy who manages to turn the pace around and get the corner. Or just get one clean hit that leads into Oki. Big hard knockdown from the sky. Lots of frame advantage. Fatal counter. Oh, man. With three bars on deck. Two and a half, even. This could be one hit from Lucy for game. But Luna's not going to let that happen. Four bars on deck for her as well. Oh, cross up. Trying to chase down with the knives. Gets the shields. Looking for follow-up. Lucy has used zero shield follow-ups on these knives. Extreme patience. And except there, you were too close, Mon. And that's going to be a kill for Lucy. Finally using a follow-up right as I say it. Um, because the BC reached. Very, very good awareness. Something tells me... This matchup has been played a lot in the past because I'm seeing a lot of familiarity from both players and I'm seeing a lot of kind of tendencies that say, I know, I know what you're going to do there. Patience. Okay, donuts. No confirmed. Does not get the increased falling JC. Clap, clap. Drops the combo. Ooh, does not get the shield on those daggers. Luna not deterred from throwing daggers. I guess it's, it's a fairly low risk option. But Luna is not deterred from throwing these daggers. Even though Lucy's building so many resources off of them. No punish on the EX. Perhaps not possible. Went through and kind of went to the other side. This is a big opportunity here. Wow. The slowest hooligan flip. Is that safe? I'm not sure chat room. Is that safe? Because that looked like hella safe. That's something I'm not super familiar with myself. Falling JB. Hooligan gets back dash. Do not test my reaction, says Lucy. It's punishable, but tight. Word. So Lucy just putting Luna to the test there and saying, can you punish this in a high-pressure situation such as this? Clash frames all the way, but the slowdown from the clash frames gives Lucy plenty of time to say, you know, I can confirm into uh, EX with this. And that's this is match point for a 3-0 winner's finals from Lucy with, on the Wark. Fatal counter donut. Chance. Staggers into rebeat. Good combo from Lucy here. Knocks, knocks Luna down. Wait, it's minus three. Omega lol. <laughs> okay, moon drive. Shields the moon skill into a full punish. Should be an easy kill. Just use some moon skills. Use some EX moves. Lucy. 3-0. Winner's finals. Going into grand finals with momentum. Sorry, I was scratching my head. I didn't get I didn't catch that replay, but good stuff to both players there. That will put Luna to wait in losers finals. Where uh, she will await the winner of Omniscythe, who's already in the room, and Lunar who is up, and this has to be first to two again. While we wait, exclamation point Macharino in the chat. I see a lot of people have been using the codes. We have 23 codes left though. 
So if you're just joining us, visit the Matcharino, sign in with one of your socials, click the claim code button. That'll give 25 free cents to the pot. 23 times 25, that's another $5.75 that we can add to the pot. Um, so be sure to do that if you can. And then also while you're there, you can make a direct contribution if you so choose. You can also um, do the sponsor quests, which are usually pretty simple. You can follow a link, you can retweet a tweet, or you can uh, sometimes follow somebody on like YouTube. There's winner. Right. See, I was, I, was, I was just putting it to the test. I was seeing, do I really have to ping? I'm kidding. I appreciate everybody for being so on it with this tourney. And thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Sorry, I'm typing up the names. Let's go to the scoreboard. Okay, so I want to say this is a run back. Nope. So we are going to see two shorter characters. This is going to be the zoner-ish versus rushdown matchup, traditional. I just ordered five guys. Okay, mix up time. Omniscythe, classic Omniscythe fashion. Always leading really strong. Not to be deterred. Gonna back off though. Huge life lead. Three bars on deck too. One super? Or even one EX stomp can be enough to put Lunar in the grave this round. But this is gonna give Lunar a chance to heat up with the EX. Setting some projectiles. Miyako has a lot of movement options though, so I'd be surprised if it was easy to pin Miyako down, even from a full screen distance. Oh no, staggers? Unsure what happened there. Lunar just getting clipped. Oh no, catches the low shield, but no punish. Or no full combo, I should say. Knocked down, gets the double jump. Oh no, empty jump low. Omniscythe looking dominant in this first game. Okay, knock up. <gasps> Dropped combo. Mix up time. Big chance here. Oh, drops the 5C. But uh, projectile gaming could be where it's at right now. Heat's full screen, confident. You you died. You died. <laughs> Omniscythe making no exception here and using all of the resources to take game one. Lunar gonna think about that one for a second. Definitely going to have to weather the storm that uh, Omniscythe is bringing. Footsies? Both these characters with slightly stubby normals. Uh, Deadass Noel with a bit better normals, right? But still, a lot of her fast ones are gonna be pretty stubby with that stick. Oh no, the falling JB counter hits. No confirm. Reset again. Omniscythe making scrambled eggs out of this situation. Just getting every interaction to go on his side. Empty jump low. Sayonara. That's a P. And uh, Omniscythe on match point. This is first to two. This is loser semis. Pick up off of the EX stomp. Oh no, that's a crouching shield, even though it doesn't look like it. I learned that today myself. One bar and full moon drive. Omniscythe can go for something a little. Oh, empty jump low again. This is just... This is just Miyako gaming. This Go next. Go next. It's a Miyako game. Omniscythe just... Holding forward. I mean... Sometimes that happens, right? You just... That's a rushdown character for you. Guess wrong two times, guess wrong three times, GG's. So yeah, Omniscythe gonna move on to play against Luna. This is gonna be our losers finals now. So defeated one moon, going to move on to the next one. Let's 
really easy for me to update my scoreboard here because I just have to remove an R. Don't want to hold you up too much. The net was so ass, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Unfortunate. It is an online tournament. We do the best we can with connection testing. And I mean, even, even Steam decides some days it ain't going to be it. So unfortunate. Miyako is not the character you want to fight against with that either. Alright, well, we're going to run this back. So, again, pseudo zoner versus rushdown character. Omniscythe going to be holding forward here. Gets the first hit. This is first to three. Oh, I didn't change the settings. So, we'll be aware of that. Um... Okay, this is going to be Luna with a chance here. Oh my goodness, anti-air, anti-air. Makes contact. Backdashes the mix-up. 236C, punish. Backdash? <gasps> Confirms with the daggers off of the dropped ender. I mean, that wouldn't have killed from Omniscythe either, but it created a scramble situation. Oh, shielding, shielding RPS, throw combo. Activates, knock down. Flip up. Wow, the delay on the third dagger was enough to get Omnisite to walk under Luna. Pressure. Stomp, does not make contact. And this is gonna be a full punish from Luna. She's gonna bring Omniscythe to the corner. Shields, BC follow-up for the Hail Mary. Luna not biting. 5C, confirm. Three bars on deck, easy kill. Oh, this is close. It's not even close. I guess the starter just wasn't sufficient there because of the moon drive activation mid combo. Oh my goodness. Shield RPS. Easy kill from Omnisite there. That, uh... That bunker did almost no damage from CL. I'm, I'm not sure why exactly that was. I didn't think it would kill, but it didn't even put um, Omnicide close to danger zone. Pressure strings. Oh, air to air from Omnicide. Activation. Counter hit on the shield. Wrong side. Big damage. EX nail. Great combos. Hooligan. A lot of opportunity here. That's a hooligan flip. Gets punished. Knockdown. Uh-oh. Not dead. Three bars on deck for uh, Luna as well. Ooh, gets hit by the cross-up elbow. Omniscythe is going to go up 1-0. This is going to... Um, this is going to go back to the lobby when it hits two games. Uh, that's my bad. We'll just, we'll keep running it though. We'll get right back into it. Okay. First hit goes to Luna. Spent Moon Drive to get it though. So no Moon Drive on the table. Air to air. Air throw confirm. Wake up 5A. Oh no, falling JB. Full corner carry as Miyako does. Knock up. Double jump mix up. Gets over the flash kick. Was looking for it. Gonna send Luna back to the corner. And do it again. Double jump mix up. Shield, shield, shield. Does not whiff. Ends up whiffing the button. And Omniscythe with one more hit. Oh, jumping A. Needs to get a safe heat here. 236C already waiting. Out. Ooh, nasty. Wake up. Wait, throw. The 236C was nice there, but uh, too patient on Omnisite's wake up. Perhaps looking for a moon drive. Perhaps looking for a DP. Ends up finding the grab. 
Okay, Jump A doing a lot of work here for Luna, but that Falling Shield is not going to do it. Omnisite with a chance. <gasps> Meaty. That's kill. So there is still one more game. It's just going to do this because I messed up. Sorry. Let me change the room settings and let you get right back into it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So it, it is 2-0 Luna. Or Omniscythe. 2-0 Omniscythe. And this is first to three. Blech. I see people using the match Reno codes. We got 19 left. I'll give you another reminder after this before we get into our grand finals. Nice. Air to air from Luna. Has been getting a lot of work out of those. In the Miyako Gauntlet. Adaptation though, waiting for Omnisite to shield back. I think we have seen Omnisite shield back nearly every time. So if Omnisite's in the air and decides to shield back, that's falling to the ground in death. This is big Miyako damage. Gets out, does Luna. The 2B clashing. That's a good button. Three meters on deck, flash kick whiffs. Miyako always weaseling her way to the other side of these flash kicks. Most unfortunate. Wake up grab is going to work there. On the whiff, on whatever uh, Omniscythe had whiffed there. But uh, Shield BC follow-up. Going to bring Omniscythe to match point for a 3-0 losers finals potentially. Shield, shield. Gets the overhead reset. All the grime coming out now from Omniscythe. <gasps> 2B, 2B. Okay, guard cancel, blood heat. Cross up, jumping B though. And actually, you're close to dead here. Oh, air grab. Omniscythe playing lights out right now. But the whiff, <gasps> no punish on the whiff DX. Anything can happen here. BC follow-ups. Hooligan goes to the wrong side. Gets 2-1-4 instead of 2 3 6 Wow, run up, moon skill DP. On the scramble, Omniscythe takes it 3 to nothing. Moves on to grand finals versus Lucy. Yeah, this is unfortunate here. The whiff, the whiff flash kick activates scramble and omnisite just says ah i'm going for it run up go for it good stuff to luna we'll be taking third lunar will be taking fourth i don't know if i shouted him out but luna takes third she'll be in the money and we'll be in more money if all these matcherino codes get used as I said, exclamation point Macharino in the chat. We've got about 19 codes left. It's about five-ish dollars left. Um, be sure to do that. Throw it in there. If we use all the Macharino codes, I'll throw an extra 10. Uh, we'll make it a nice round, like 40, 45 dollars. And uh, we'll go from there. So, grand finals time. This is Omniscythe clawing his way up from losers. Where he will face against Lucy. Definitely a contender uh, in the MASH Fests historically. Um, so we'll see who is the one that ends up taking it. Omniscythe will have to win two sets of first to three. Lucy will have to win just one. We are ready for y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Monday Night Mash Fest. I am your substitute host, Ryer. Subbing in for Imperious Club. We got some events coming up. I'll shout them out at the end. But just know we got Grand Blue coming up on Wednesday. Blaze Blue coming up on Thursday. And then uh, Undernight coming up Sunday and next Monday. So definitely some stuff to look out for. And our live event. So I'll shout all that out after this after our grand final. So stick around if you want to see what's coming for um, us. One sec, getting some water. Even better, Lucy says getting some water. I'm going to shout it out now. So upcoming events, they are all on this channel if you want to watch. If you want to play, join the Discord, pass a connection test, and you're good to go. So, um, hold on one second. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm just checking stuff out. Um, Wednesday, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Open Series. Anyone can enter, passing a connection test. So usually it's like Midwest to East Coast or West Coast USA with juiced internet. Uh, we might see one or two people slip through there. Um, that is at 8 p.m. I think now instead of 7. Thursday is my next event. It's our Blaze Blue Beginner Intermediate Bracket. Um, you know, if you just started playing Blaze Blue with the rollback patch, or you decided to pick it up because your friends picked it up, uh, definitely join that. Check it out. We got a pretty good level of play there, but nothing, you know, nothing like some of these other events are running where the 10-year veterans are entering. Uh, Saturday is our WASD Live for February. You saw it in the opening. Uh, we're playing four games. We're playing two Guilty Gears because we're playing um, we're playing uh, Exerd and Strive. We'll be playing Melty Blood and we'll be playing Undernight. That's Saturday. That's live offline. So that's at OSNYC uh, in Chinatown. And then lastly, this Sunday is our Undernight Beginners Tournament, similar to our Blaze Blue one, but it's people who are just starting with Undernight. So lots of stuff coming up. Keep an eye on the channel, join the Discord, and uh, come play fighting games with us. You folks are good to go. Grand Finals, Lucy versus Omniscythe. Lucy did beat Omniscythe two to zero in winner's side top eight. So, Advantage Lucy right now. Also advantage Lucy coming in from winner's side. So only has to win one set versus Omniscythe's two. Yeah, Lucy's been playing some Wark this bracket. I've seen a few characters from Lucy. Uh, Omniscythe's gonna look to rush down. Maybe gonna look to make some adjustments. There's that super jump donut again. Such a good technique that uh, we're seeing Wark use here. Oh, the armor, I don't care. Grab. So smart, not gonna go for the shield as Omniscythe. Seeing the shield or the moon skill back, moon drive back from Lucy. Super jump donuts again. Super jump moon skill donuts. S J M S D. That don't spell nothing, but it's a pretty neat technique nonetheless. One meter on deck. Gonna get a chance to spend it. Heat. Super. <gasps> that caught? No freaking way. Lucy takes round one with the waves that pierce the heavens. Big opportunity. Back dash. Dropping, dropping donuts. Little baby combo in the air. Delay catching the back dash. Gets crossed up. Knocked down. Runs out. Good awareness from Lucy. There it is. BC follow-up gets shielded. Gets shielded low as well on the EX Stomp. Super Jump Donuts has another air action, so is going to be safe. 5A anti-air. That looked like a whiffed uh, attempt at something TK'd. I'm not sure exactly, though. Moon Drive out. Shield. Waits for the shield back. Throws not into the corner, though, so will not get a combo. Omniscythe has an opportunity to kill here. This is going to do a lot of damage. Jeez. Don't get hit. Four bars on deck for Lucy, though, so she's, uh, no slouch for resources. No moon drive, though, and, uh, no great way to build a moon drive, a uh, moon gauge, pardon me, against Miyako, considering, you know, shielding is always a risk. Ooh. Corner time. Hard knockdown. Looking for something there. Perhaps a moon drive on wake up. Oh my goodness gracious, I will not be deterred. 2B, 2B, 2B and gets a fat 40% for it. Shields, death? This is really close. No chance, does not spend any meter. EX Donuts, no resources on the side of Lucy, especially with that last moon skill spent. Pressure, <gasps> fatal air to air. Chance for both players here. Builds a bar, does Lucy out? Not out enough though. Omniscythe is going to chase it down and take game one. Oh. 
How many scythe bringing the momentum to this? Okay, big damage. Moon Drive spent for Lucy as well. Gonna have to be careful. Triple jump in the corner, and again, Omniscythe saying, I have no reason not to spam 2B here. I'm assuming it's 2B, whatever that anti-air button is. Um, I have no reason not to spend this, and then just wake up EXDP from Lucy. Definitely a go next round versus Miyako there. Charging. Air grab. Heat. Shield. Blocked. Shield patience. Oh my goodness. Clash frames. Gets the better of it with 2A. Mashy blood. Hard knockdown. Charge. Looking for something here. Omniscythe playing patient right now. Chase to the corner. Right, chase. Not quite a kill here, but a really good opportunity for Lucy. Just can just play to zone. Got to be careful with any wary, any wary donuts. And that's a clean hit into a kill. Chase down. Ooh, tries to shield the cross up. I saw it happen, but uh, unfortunately. Cross up went to the other side too fast. Omniscythe going ham with the cross ups. Lucy gonna have to look out for those for sure. Gets to the other side. Has enough heat to spend the super. Evens up the life bars. No meter on the side. Omniscythe clean to be punished off of that DP. One more hit can do it here for Lucy in game two. Nice air to air. Full combo? Not quite. Gets the drop. Heat is on the table for Omniscythe. He might be looking for it. Never mind. Super jump. Moon skill donuts. Man, that's what I'm going to name my first five children. <laughs> I don't know who I feel worse for, though. The one who's named Jump or the one who's named Donuts. One to one going into uh, game three of grand finals first set. Oh my goodness. Out. Other side, looking out for the stomp. Uh-uh. Pick up. Not too much, not too much damage off of that EX stomp though. And now neither player with any meter. Lucy spending all this moon. Corner carry. Running out. I like the approach of Lucy to continue running out of a lot of these situations, just saying, I'm not gonna try to commit to this, I'm not gonna try to shield. Nice. Let's go, donuts. Knocked down. Yeah, spends it. One meter. Moon drive on deck. Two meters for Lucy. This is the game Lucy wants to be playing. This full screen, zoning-esque. Ooh, back and forth. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send Miyako right over. One more hit will do it. Heat is an option, but Omniscythe has to be really careful. And yeah, Moon... Moon skill donut. Lucy looking to have a bead on what Omniscythe is trying to do right now. Omni's gonna have to mix it up, maybe even slow it down a little bit. Drops the EX Ender. It's not gonna get a throw knockdown for that. Moon skill gets blocked. Delay wake up. Okay, that's a combo for Lucy. Evens up the life bars. Three bars on deck for Omniscythe. Hard knockdown here. What's he gonna go for? Ooh, nothing, as he's going to get grabbed. Shield, shield, tech! There it is, my children. Again. Two meters on deck, this might be a kill. Red Rover? Death. Match game for Lucy. She has the opportunity to close it out right here and... My personal opinion, it feels like Omniscythe needs to take back a lot of momentum if he wants to win this. It's going to take more than just one convincing round. Lucy, Lucy is putting up a lot of brick walls, saying uh, a lot of them are donuts too, and is saying like, "I'm not going to fall for this." That was really nice counterplay from Omniscythe there. Gets hit with the overhead. 
Makes up time. Heats out. Wow, double overhead. Succeeds. Super. Cash out. Lucy always aware of, of when it's best to cash out. Does get the heat there. Lucy doesn't care. Says, I'll take one bar for your heat. Moon Drive Throw. Also working. Hard knockdown. No resources on the side of Omniscythe. And that shield with no moon gauge is going to have a grip of recovery. Leading to Lucy getting a full 2B starter punish. We out. EX meter on deck 2 for Lucy. Do not, do not try to heat. Hello? Is that air unblockable? I think that's air unblockable. That was sick awareness. Yeah! That was sick awareness from Lucy. Yeah, shades of uh, some other Kusoge that I've played where <laughs> you lock them in the air and then you air unblockable them. No, I love it. It's good stuff from Lucy. Yeah. Happy 2 1 4, everybody. This is match point for Lucy. Omniscythe chasing her down but not able to make contact lucy getting the better of most of these interactions stomp to nothing shield bc follow-up no moon gauge but four meters this is gonna hurt Ooh. guess back dash and the shield gets grabbed two meters so this is a hard knockdown into a bad situation for omniscythe heats up Wants this kill off of this hit is what it is. Not going to have enough heat to do it now. Cannot backdash the flashbang. <laughs> Ooh, the cheapies. Not dead yet. Oh, again. Shades of game one. Omnisite just looking for that anti-air and finally getting it after a triple jump. Gravy <laughs> Gravy's loving that. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super jump donuts. Shield, shield, shield. Full moon for Lucy. Patience, not spending moon drive there, knowing knowing she doesn't need to. Falling, JC. Moon drive on deck. Heats out. Shielded. BC interaction. You're not dead because Lucy doesn't have the meter, but this hurts like hell. Ah. One more guess. Meaty donut. Mash out. Omnisai says, I don't want to die. Blocking. Guard cancel. Heat beats the cross up. Double overhead. Super. Alt F4. Yes, indeed. The bread and butter Lucy tournament winning combo. Super finisher into Alt F4. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. That is a 3 1 winner's side grand finals victory for Lucy. We'll be taking first in Mash Fest number 45, Melty Blood type Lumina. Omniscythe takes second, Luna takes third, uh, Lunar takes fourth. Uh, fifth place is going to be a tie between Tenchi and Yusoro, and then seventh is going to be a tie between Flamex and I Been Trippin, aka Trip. Excellent stuff from all players. Buenos games. So, I'm just going to give a quick sign out. Congrats again to all players. Uh, we do still have match arena codes left. For those of you who placed top three, be sure that you join the match arena. We'll be paying that out sometime tomorrow, once all the or once all the codes are used, whatever comes first. Uh, we have 17 codes left. Uh, we'll, we'll make a push as well in the Discord to get those claimed for y'all. Uh, that was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Monday. It is over. It just finished. Lucy was victorious. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me on this Monday. My name is Ryer. Follow me at Golden Ryer on Twitter. I basically just retweet events and like occasionally the shit post. So um, check that out. I see codes coming through. Thank you so much, everybody. We're up to $30. So, you know, I think it's like an 18, 9, 3 split or something for, for second, third. Stop winning with Wark until I go to America. So I'm going to shout out our events and then wish you all a good night and a happy Valentine's Day. Um, 
As I said, Wednesday, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Open. Thursday is my Blaze Blue Beginner Intermediate Bracket. Saturday is WASD Live number five. Hold on, let me cheat really quick. It doesn't say. WASD Live February. Um, Sunday is Undernight Beginner Intermediate. Uh, but still mostly beginner. I would say of all of our beginner intermediate brackets, we see the most new faces, like new to fighting game faces in the uni brackets. So yeah, it said the 19th, which is Saturday. Yeah, I just don't know which number it is. Like if it's the fifth one or the sixth one, we did August, September, October, November, December. We skipped January because of Frosties. It's the sixth one. Where's the BBCF sign up at? Uh, we can get you that. I think we can do this. Oh, it's just short. Um, if you are on the Discord, the exclamation point tournaments command has it. But because it's not in the next, I guess, three events. Oh no, it's because this didn't get updated for today. Um, but it's on the Discord, you can find it. Um, as well as everything else we do. Uni Beginner on Sunday. Next Monday is the next Monday Night Mash Fest. That will be under night. Be sure to check that out. Um, and then we'll keep rolling from there. Tomorrow is the announcement for Combo Breaker. Or at least that's the date that Combo Breaker tweeted to keep an eye on. If you are planning on going to Combo Breaker, keep an eye on Twitter tomorrow. I will be at Combo Breaker. I'm looking forward to going. So definitely check that out. Um, and then lastly, I want to shout out crossover arc exclamation point big live, or I think also exclamation point crossover works now crossover arc is our collaboration with lunar phase. Um, we are going to run six games over two days at the same venue as the live, uh, OS NYC. That's going to be March 19th and 20th. We are running melty blood type Lumina. We are running melty blood actress again, current code. We are running Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition. We are running Guilty Gear Strive. We are running Undernight Imbirth. And we are running Grand Blue Fantasy Versus as our main games. Expect to see plenty of casuals for side games and for um, like uh, plenty of casuals and side game brackets for the other games such as Blaze Blue, Exerd, maybe KOF, uh, and all that. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I guess I got one more thing to shout out. If you're in the South Florida area, which is where I'm from, check out Flynn's Arcade and More in Margate, Florida. I run Tuesday night casual sessions there with another uh, gamer by the name of OmniDeek. We play games every Tuesday, starting at 6 p.m. Check it out if you're in the South Florida area. I'd like to meet more people in person who frequent this community, so definitely do that. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Again, my only Valentine is is happy chaos valentine so you know i'll probably go hit the ladder after this but i wish all of you a great night thanks for hanging out and we will see you next time adios